Welcome to what for us as members of St John here in Guernsey is a first, a virtual event to mark the coming Christmas season. I am of course very disappointed that we're not able to have our usual carol service this year due to Covid, but we're determined not to allow the pandemic to dampen our spirits. Despite what has unquestionably been another difficult year, I do think we have grounds to celebrate all that has been collectively achieved during the year. So I will now introduce our chaplain, Matthew. We should have been gathering here in the town church for the St John Carol Service, an opportunity to celebrate and to hear once again the Christmas story. The church is filled with nearly 50 Christmas trees, each one decorated by a different charity. And the twinkle and sparkle of the trees is a wonderful sight. Town Church was described by the press as the most Christmassy place in Guernsey. Behind me is our St John Christmas tree, decorated with baubles which represent the many areas of operation across the emergency, commercial, youth, voluntary and charity sectors. The tinsel represents our brand colours and the lights represent our frontline blue light service. Although the decorating of trees was a tradition which began in Germany in the 17th century, it was not until the late 19th century that they began to be adopted here. The twinkling candles and sparkling decorations remind us of the hope of the light shining in the darkened world around us. We could probably all do with a little bit of hope from the darkness in our world at the moment. The Christmas story is a story of hope in really difficult times. A difficult journey, an unplanned pregnancy for an unmarried teenager, a birth in a stable followed by a time of a family living as refugees in a foreign land. But into all this difficulty and darkness, the baby that was born provides the light and hope in the world. Not born in a palace, but in amongst the mess of a stinking stable. That baby brought light and peace to the world and continues to do so today. Whether the Christmas story resonates with you or not, I pray that this Christmas you may find some time of peace and joy and that there may be new hope in the year ahead. Matthew's theme of hope is an important one, particularly at this time of year and particularly for us as members and supporters of St John. Everything that we do as volunteers for St John can be tracked back to the roots of what we exist to do, serving humanity and developing new and better ways of preserving life. Covid this past two years is a prime example of how daily life can be unpredictable and challenging. It's hope that maintains our individual and collective spirits during times of challenge, hope which keeps us going and hope which keeps us optimistic. As I look back on what has been another very busy year for us at St John, here in the Bailiwick, I do sincerely believe that we've been successful again in helping to maintain that confidence and optimism within our community. Our volunteers have been very actively engaged, not just in providing first aid support at public events, but also very heavily involved in supporting the frontline ambulance service during COVID assisting with the deep cleaning of ambulances and providing patient transport has allowed our professionals to focus on frontline delivery of emergency medical care. Our community first responders have helped to reduce the time taken for medical assistance to arrive on scene, thereby helping to save lives. Collectively, we've ensured that the emergency medical infrastructure within Guernsey and our outlying islands continues to operate very effectively, thereby maintaining collective confidence within our community and allowing everyone to maintain hopeful optimism. For their part, our badges and cadets represent the future. We strive to remain an attractive proposition to the youth of Guernsey by offering training in practical life-saving skills, insights into all of the varied career opportunities that exist within the healthcare professions and most importantly, 
by providing a fun, entertaining and safe environment. Seeing the cheerful development of our badgers and cadets cannot fail to impress and fills me with optimism about their prospects for future success in whatever sphere of activity they choose to pursue. We're very proud of them all. Behind the scenes, we continue to enjoy the quiet support of the St John Fellowship, who provide invaluable assistance with events, with fundraising, and in supporting our administration. The team at the library are an integral part of our wider outreach programmes, helping to improve the quality of life for residents in the Bailiwick. We work closely with other charities who share the same ethos as us. Collectively, we strive to make lives better and to inject positivity into situations that might otherwise seem somewhat bleak. By its very nature, St John is therefore an optimistic organisation and a force for good. That makes us a tangible source of hope within our community. It's both humbling for me personally, yet also a source of pride to be associated with St John. So I say a very sincere thank you to all of our supporters, volunteers and staff. Without your unstinting commitment, we would not be able to do what we do and we would not be that source of optimistic hope. I wish you and all of your families a very happy Christmas. Merry Christmas! Happy Christmas! Merry 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 Christmas! Happy Christmas! Happy Christmas! Happy Christmas!